Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. For today's video, allow me to just share with you something new for this farm. And this is the integration of the vegetables. I am going to make some structure here for our vegetables and since this is a swampy area, we need to elevate our bamboo so that the vegetables will crawl. And when talking about vegetables, I'm thinking about the cucumber, I'm thinking about the ampalaya, we also have this you know, red and white squash and many more. And this is one of the projects that we're going to do for the year 2024. And I'm thinking about how to develop the remaining portion of the farm. Well, of course, you know that this is really needing some filling materials. Thousands of trucks are needed here. But I cannot wait to produce our own vegetables. That's why I made an effort to innovate. And this is now what is going to happen. As soon as our vegetables will crawl over here, and then that's the time also that we can raise the fish. Well, we will just put our guppies and other live bearers here, and we will make some boxes made of wood. And this is my plan. We're gonna line up here some boxes of our guppies and mollies, and then we will use the shade provided by the vegetables and then that's the time that we can produce our own live bearer fish. Well, this endeavor is quite challenging because this area here is frequently visited by migratory birds. And these birds are, you know, kingfishers. They're eating fish. So what we're going to do is, of course, to provide light and then we will enclose this with net. And I don't know if that's going to happen, but if there's a wheel, there will always be a way for solutions. If there are problems, we can always think of the solutions instead of delving into our problems. So this endeavor doesn't entail big amount of money for its completion because we only use bamboos and this uh, wood, recycled wood actually. And we will use this binder for our vegetables to crawl and we will also transfer all the taros from here to the higher ground and we will do some cleaning right here so that we can see what is going under what is uh, actually going here i know that since we have so many ducks this is very challenging because we have so many ducks that these ducks can you know, perch on it, on our vegetables, but they're highly trainable. These ducks can be taught. In fact, if they will hear my whistle, they will just come and fly and eat their, their food. So they're highly trainable. I think there's no problem about it. Only that we have to impose some strict rules and policies over this farm for our animals.
There are so many things that can still be done here, projects actually. Um, we can develop another fish pond right here, and then we will again make another boathouse, cottages, and then we can also make a goat house over there. There are many, only that it requires much of our time, attention, and of course the budget. But I believe that we can slowly do this and accomplish this, especially in the coming years. And I have in mind major projects for the year 2024, like the installation of the water system. It's very important for the farm. And another thing is the electrification of the, the entire farm so that it's uh, illuminated during the night. We can use solar panels, we can use solar lights for this purpose. And these are the things that we're gonna achieve and accomplish. And also, I'm thinking about, you know, putting some aviary right here, over there, next to the boathouse. We can do some, you know, cages for our birds. And we can also install Wi-Fi so that our visitors can just come and use their gadgets. Well, raising the animals in the most natural way is one of my main objectives and you will see that our goats are actually adjusting to the new place but this is not the kind of system about raising goats that I am thinking about because I really wanted to have an elevated cages for our goats. And one of the greatest achievements that I can share with you about this farm is when we able to produce our own food such as the super worms, we have the taro, we have this banana trunk, we have this azola, we have this water spinach, and we have this grated coconuts. These are the things that we normally feed our animals here. What's important about it is that they are multiplying without so much expenses for the food on our part. And this is one of the victories. So guys, that's all the things that we can share with you so far. I had a great morning today. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading very informative and very challenging videos. And if you will, and if you will subscribe, you will be notified of our future uploads. I would like to see you in my next video on here at Dexter's World.